Recently, when I was using one of my Microsoft computers, I found a hidden file. After investigating this, it appears that the Microsoft Corporation has placed this file on all computers that run the Microsoft operating system. At least, that is what I found on Windows XP and Windows Vista. The hidden file is called pagefile.sys. On my computers, it was on the C drive. When I looked for the file, I couldn't see it. Even if I enabled the view of hidden files, I still couldn't see it. In order to view the file, I used a live CD. I rebooted the computer with a Linux Mint 12 live CD. The computer booted up as a Linux machine. It did not boot up with Microsoft's Windows operating system. Using Linux, I was easily able to see pagefile.sys. I was also able to see the contents of the file. Here are some of the things that I found in the file. The file contained sensitive data, including my name and other names related to me, including my last name. The file contained email addresses. The file contained my cell phone number. The page file showed a history of video files saved to the computer. I found Facebook friends. I do not use Facebook, but my wife does. I found verified Facebook friends. There was some web browsing history, a history of installed programs, and content of personal emails. Microsoft confirms part of this on their own website. On the Microsoft website, they say, some third-party programs can temporarily store unencrypted plain text passwords, or other sensitive information in memory. This information can be present in the paging file. And that is what I found. It is true that there is personal information stored in that file. How did I do that? But the thing is, your page file, your swap file, uh, what that does is it, is it takes a little portion of your hard drive, and if it dumps some of the, the some of the information from RAM onto the hard drive, and that's why it's called virtual memory. It's 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 memory, but it's on the hard drive. Uh, when you start using that swap file, it slows the computer down a little bit. I wonder how saving a password to the hard drive is going to significantly boost the performance of the, your computer. According to the previous source, the file actually slows down the computer. How can storing a password or other unencrypted plain text on your hard drive boost the performance of your machine? Regardless of the performance of your computer, it's a fact that unencrypted, plain text revealing personal details about you and me are being stored on our Microsoft computers. Microsoft allows personal data to be stored on your hard drive in a hidden file. The contents of this file may be revealed to those that know how. Our privacy on our computers is limited and each day we have less and less privacy from the rulers of this world. Number one, once again, Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates. Estimated wealth, $54 billion. The rich and the powerful are gaining more and more control over the people in this world. How could the page file cause any trouble? One way is identity theft. Hackers. Hackers could sift page files for passwords. Since passwords are stored in the page file, 
in plain text if a hacker can get into the page file and the passwords are not encrypted and so a hacker could discover your passwords. Hackers. Um, hacking is one way to call it, I guess, but I consider it as a non-technical person, a long-term monitoring and surveillance based on the dates that the computer Wait. forensics showed. But Mitchell copied Bob Durow's hard drive to examine the information on it without altering the original data. Mitchell found evidence that Bob deleted certain files, but they were still on the hard drive. That's because computers don't erase files. They just mark the space occupied by those files for reuse. A lot of the deleted files are simply information left in place. And a computer forensics analyst will take the stand to talk about the searches on Casey's computer. Also taking the stand in late afternoon testimony, a computer forensics expert who went over various emails that were found on Love's computer, including the one that we've all heard of at this point, where Hughley wrote to her, quote, I should have killed you, unquote. Another way the page file could cause trouble we could be punished for our sins. Personal information can be stored in the page file. A forensic examiner could analyze the page file on your computer in a court case. The page file could indicate the download of contraband images, files that if revealed to your enemies might be an embarrassment to you. Because of poor choices, we have made while using our computers, we could get into legal trouble with the rich and powerful. Many of us have downloaded copyrighted material without paying for it. That could get us into trouble with media corporations. Some questions we could ask ourselves about how we use our computer. Would it be okay if Every email I ever wrote was in the public domain? Would it be okay if every word I ever communicated to anyone through my computer running the Microsoft operating system, if every word were available to anyone to see? To anyone? Have I written anything on my computer that could be considered a false testimony? Have I said anything that is not true about another person. Giving a false testimony about our fellow man is a sin, and we can be punished for sins. Would it be okay if every use of the internet became a public record? Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Here are some uses of a computer that could get us in trouble. Downloading copyrighted content without paying for it. That is the sin of stealing. Lying about other people. That is the sin of giving a false testimony. Viewing images of the flesh that lead down to lust and adultery. That is the sin of adultery and coveting. Communication showing that we want another person's things, whether we took those things or not, that is the sin of coveting. Communication on our computer that showed we hated someone, which could lead to murder. This could be the sin of murder, or the intent to murder, the premeditation. In a court case, this evidence could be used against you.
as Jesus said, Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer, and ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. If we always use computers to do what is good and right, we should have nothing to fear. But who is without sin? No one is without sin except Jesus Christ. And thank God he did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. To cover your tracks and to hide your sins, you could try to clear out your web browsing history. You could delete your temporary internet files. You could delete all your emails. You could delete all your video files, your image files, and your audio files. Your hard drive could appear spotless. But then there is Microsoft's hidden file, which could reveal much of your personal use of your computer. I recommend that you first make up your mind to do what is good and right. Confess to God that you are not innocent and ask for his help. If you use a computer now, use it for learning truth and sharing truth with your fellow man. The computer connected to the internet makes it easy to communicate and this is a powerful tool and it can be used for good. We could make up our mind to do good with this tool and to put an end to our old ways. With that in mind, we could wipe out the page file and start clean. I used to worry about this, but I no longer worry. So one reason I made this video was to share with anyone like you that is watching this right now what the solution to the problem is. If you want privacy and if you want safety from the evil of this world, turn to God. Psalm 64 Hear my voice, O God, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Who whet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of God. For they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and shall trust in him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. Do you want to be hidden from the evil? Do what is good and right, and trust in the Lord. His name is Jesus. Conclusion Microsoft allows personal data to be stored on the hard drive in a hidden file, which they did not allow me, even as the owner of the computer, to view the file or to delete the file. 
The page file contents may be revealed by those that know how. Our privacy on the computer is limited, and each day, as technology pushes forward, we have less and less privacy from the rulers of the darkness of this world and the spiritual wickedness in high places. If you want privacy and safety from the evil of this world, turn to God.